What up, Bucks fans? This is Matt Matera from PewterReport.com. And Pewter people, we got some more breaking news. And this is great breaking news because Levante David is back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for another season. News just broke by Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network not too long after we recorded the latest Pewter Report podcast, and it is nothing but great news. Levante David is re-signing with the Buccaneers on a $9 million deal that is worth up to $10 million. So it sounds like it's going to be a base salary of $9 million, which is great. That is, again, not breaking the bank for the Buccaneers, and it's a pay upgrade for Levante David who got around $7 million and change after incentives and everything. Last year, he gets an upgrade to $9 million with the base salary and could get up to $10 million with incentives. He absolutely deserves it. He was fantastic last season for the Buccaneers, so very happy to see Levante David get that deal. He had the most tackles, the most sacks, and the most tackles for loss that he has had since 2015 and 2016. So Levante David is still playing at an incredibly high, high rate at, at a high level, whatever you want to call it. He has been absolutely exceptional for this team. Got to give a shout out once again to Jason Light and Jackie Davidson and Mike Greenberg getting yet another deal done. And if you remember what Jason Light said at the NFL Combine, he wanted to throw a boat parade if he was able to get back Mike Evans and Baker Mayfield and Levante David and also keep Anson Winfield Jr. All he de needs to do next is sign a contract extension for Tristan Wirfs, and I'm sure that'll get done at one point during this offseason. But this is great for the Buccaneers. You know they're losing Devin White, but they want to lose Devin White. They didn't want to lose Levante David, so they bring Levante back. You have Antoine Winfield Jr. at safety, their best defensive player. Levante, arguably their second best defensive player. Maybe Vita Vea has a case for that as well, but at least in the top three. Jason Light also wanted Levante David to continue building his resume to be on the Bucks' Mount Rushmore because we know he's going into the Bucks' Ring of Honor one day. We hope he gets into the NFL All of Hall of Fame and he has the credentials to do so. So now, what's another obstacle? Obviously, he wants to win yet another Super Bowl because he won one in 2020. He also, Jason Light, wants to get Levante David on that Buccaneers Mount Rushmore. Will it happen? That remains to be seen. But Super Bowl champion Levante David is back with the Buccaneers. This is fantastic for the Bucs. Levante David slides right back into that starting inside linebacker position, K.J. Britt will be next to him. You got Servasier Dennis still waiting in the wings. Still got three more years on his contract. He was a rookie last season, so they do have a bit of a succession plan. But this is great, great, great news for the Bucs and Levante David. Another box to check with all of the goals that the Bucs have this offseason. Levante David gets re-signed for $9 million, and it, that is worth up to $10 million. Great to see LVD, Levante David, the Bucks team captain, back with the Buccaneers. I'm Matt Matera from PewterReport.com. Make sure you check out all of our content on uh, Pewter Report and our social media over at Pewter Report and our YouTube channel, Pewter Report TV. Please like and subscribe. Levante David's back. This is a great day. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Check out PewterReport.com for all of our information about your Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Levante David, back. Let's go. Out.